Hi, you're here with Clark Sullivan, Matt Freeman Sullivan. We're at Hashmark Yo Soy 132, out here at 15 Fremont Street in downtown San Francisco. We're glad to have you here, and uh, we welcome you, our visitors and guests, and viewers, for a night of what appears to be a night of lively protest. So, uh, Yo Soy 132. Uh, sprang out of the Mexican students movement in Mexico City and Yo Soy 132 is uh, right now organizing against uh, Televisa which is a Fox owned uh, uh, television network in Mexico uh, for their uh, biased and one-sided coverage in the Mexican presidential elections. So I'm not uh, very uh, proficient in Espanol uh, but I'll try to do my best to uh, keep you uh, updated with what's going on because you're an uh, English only speaker. But uh, I think I reached out a little bit with some of my coverage and that uh, get beyond the only Occupy stuff and uh, move out and try to uh, network with other communities. And we're down here at Univisa headquarters, so uh, do drop in. Log into the social stream at my YouTube page and chat, and let me know if the slide stream is coming in good and how it looks. And uh, I welcome you. Thanks a lot. Anyway, this is an international day of protest. Uh, it's not just here in San Francisco and Mexico, but they're asking you to go down to your local, uh, if you have Univision in the United States or Televisa in Mexico, uh, to go down to the uh, station and start a blockupation. Right? And uh, a blockupation is different than an occupation in that a blockupation seeks to stop the flow of business in and out of a building as well as occupying physical space. It's more like a sit-in, only uh, a sit-in is more of an inside, a blockupation is more of an outdoor. So you've got a little bit of background. And uh, as soon as I can, I'm going to get it to uh, somebody here for an interview to give you a little more background on what's going on. Uh, in case you're interested, uh, more in your soy 132, uh, you can follow that hashtag. Uh, that gentleman's got it on his jacket. Uh, yo soy 132. Right, we're down here at 15 Fremont. Uh, Univision uh, headquarters here in San Francisco. With our live stream of Hashmark Yo Soy 132. Right about here, see if I can get a little bit of the, of the signage that they've got hanging out front here. And welcome you to the Occupy San Francisco live stream. Glad to have you here. Please retweet this and let everybody know that I'm uh, out here. I'm at 50 Fremont and Mission Street in San Francisco. So if you're local and you want to come down and join us, that would be most welcome. Uh, although I would uh, take the underground because critical mass is getting ready to start. So here's a uh, a little bit of some of the downs that are out here. So, I'd say there's at least 50, maybe 75 people out here. So, come join us. 
and let your friends know. I'm going to get back in my chair. It's a little more comfortable for me. Yeah, this is your disabled live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. Hate to admit it. <laughs> and this is my little torture device. Anybody who wants to donate, give me a nice wheelchair. Just kidding, this one works fine. Anyway, we've got a nice little lively protest going in here. We're in the financial district in San Francisco. Uh, the hashtag for the Occupy movement is hashtag Occupa Televisa, which is uh, O C C U P A T E L E V I S A. That is the Spanish language hashtag. And I believe there's uh, Zarpado, Televisa, and uh, that's the other hashtag that's going out on Twitter. So if you follow those, you're going to get a pretty good picture of what this protest is about. And uh, while we're out here today, covering uh, blatant bias coverage, which uh, we're all used to with Fox here in the United States, and uh, Televisa, which I do believe is a Fox subsidiary in Mexico. I'm not really sure on that, but uh, they've got to be owned by one of the major uh, multinational corporations. Yeah, I'll try to, uh, I'll try to get somebody to translate a little bit. Yeah, my Spanish isn't the best either. You know, sadly, I took two years of it in high school, and I, I very rarely ever get a chance to speak it here in San Francisco, uh, which is unfortunate. I actually spoke, when I was in D.C., I actually spoke more Spanish there, and I knew more native Spanish and less than real speakers there than I do here. It doesn't matter, the language is all the same, and the enthusiasm is the same, and the fight for freedom is the same, and uh, that's what counts in my, uh, my opinion. There's also a uh, Anaheim uh, Solidarity March going on in uh, Oakland right now. And if you want to check that out, you're bored with this one. Uh, just go over to at Courtney Occupy. That's Courtney Occupy. And she'll be streaming from her page on Ustream. So I don't know the URL of. I believe it's uh, the same as mine, Ustream.tv slash channel slash Courtney Occupy. Uh, and that would be that URL. Meanwhile, if you're, if you're here, please check this one out, stick around. We're going to be here for a while. Nice to see some fellow occupiers down here. Pretty good. Glad well, I come down to cover this event. I was watching the live stream last night. Yeah, live stream. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm live streaming with right that. And, uh, yeah, man. He's so much. He's so much. He's so much. He's so is because we're countering the uh, mass media laws and mass media stuff. Hey, you know what they also do, man? Like, say, you know, brain scans when you're a child. Well, I haven't had a doctor's treatment in my day, so. Well, it's good to see. Anyway, it's good to see you here. Anyway, uh, they had uh, tens numbering, tens of, uh, tens of 
tens of thousands of people here uh, in, uh, in Mexico City last night. Uh, they blockaded the uh, Televisa headquarters. They had a line of uh, Mexico uh, federal troops out there that were like about five thick. And it was really a, a powerful uh, moment. We got Steve Rhodes out here taking pictures. Another, another occupier. He's out. He's one of those new sounds too. He's out here sitting journalists. Out here taking pictures of everything. Uh, you can find him on on, Flick, on Flickr at uh, Steve Rhodes R H O D S. Yeah, I made sure I was real careful this time. Uh, I made sure I had the double wide battery in there and so it wouldn't crack out in the middle of the of the stream and downtown San Francisco is really good for uh, bandwidth. There's about uh, 50, 75 boats out here. Seems like guys throwing them over. Yeah, it's always good when they have drums too. I'm loving the drums. Yeah, the elections in Mexico were definitely rigged. But then again, what election is it? Uh, with a... Well, we'll go back to the chance here. Oh! 
Cowboys from Cowboy and Blues. You know what they're chanting? I had a, a translation sheet from March on Saturday, and I don't have it anymore, so... Oh, okay. I'm just, just trying to... I'll find somebody here in a minute. I'm trying to Okay, I'll wait for a minute. Let's see if we can get him in the same few words to the live stream. Yeah. Uh, it's a uh, ustream.tv uh, slash channel slash I'm going to Are you tweeting right now? Yes. Okay, I'm just going to tweet you. I'm not tweeting Sullivan. At Freeman Sullivan if you're looking for my tweets. Uh, if you're looking to follow this on Twitter, uh, check out the hashtag, hashtag YoSoy132 or uh, what was the other one? Uh, Occupa Televisa, which is another hashtag. What's your handle here? At Freeman Sullivan. Freeman, F-R-E-M-A-N. That's your East. M-A-N Sullivan, S-U-L-L-I-V-A-N. I-V-A-N. Queremos escuela! Yes, I'm going to use the word. I like the Freeman. I mean, I've always been a bit of as a username, right? But I never have to change my usernames, which is why it's... Okay. Great. I was going to uh, see if I could promote it on Global Revolution tonight, but uh, there's, the, uh, there's a bunch of guys, uh, Anaheim Marching, you know, and let them have a, a band with tonight. And this is good. This is about as many as we did at a lot of our Occupy games, so... Uh, no, I, uh, I covered a soldier that was going to be, um, right around the corner here at, uh, at PMC, and, uh, I was going to go down, but Courtney Occupy was in there, and she does a nice job in those covers, so I just produced it here at her channel. I really enjoy this live stream. I think it's one of the most effective uh, organizing tools that we have. Because last night I was watching uh, two different live streams from Mexico City, and they had uh, 20,000 viewers of youth, and they had tens of, tens of thousands of people out in the streets protesting. So, and none of this ever makes the mainstream news, right? I agree. I agree. The revolution's happening all around the world. Yeah. Uh, well, I think that this summer and heading into the fall, there's going to be a lot of uh, uprisings. Uh, we haven't reached the point of having a, uh, a full-scale, uh, I don't know what's the word for it, uh, not coup d'etat, but uh, just short of insurrection. Right, we're short of having an insurrection. But I, I see that coming uh, shortly down the pike here in the United States. Especially if uh, the economic situation continues the way it is. Uh, I'd like to give everybody the heads up of some future actions that uh, the Action Council, Occupy Action Council, will be sponsoring here in San Francisco on August 15th at Community College of San Francisco. Uh, the Occupy Action Council will be at uh, Community College of San Francisco. No problem for police? Oh, yeah, no problem. No, two pounds. No problem. No problem. No problem. I'm the media. I can pretty much sit anywhere I want. Let's see if we get a couple of words from this gentleman here. How you doing today? Let's see what's up. As soon as he gets a second, I hate being rude. I'm not your uh, your pushy citizen journalist. I I like to treat everybody like I like to be treated, and I definitely don't like pushy people. <laughs> anyway, we'll get right back to him. I'd like to uh, thank you all for watching my live stream. That's uh, that's up on Ustream. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to have a site. I have a site up right now, activeststream.com. But I'm working on doing that uh, on a private hoster 
so I can uh, have different uh, live streamers and do it like Ustream does on their site because I'm writing an app and I'm working to work on that for the next couple of days and see that uh, we can have our own private activist Ustream channel without all the commercial commercials and, and all that stuff and if you're interested that is something that I will be taking donations for here shortly just keep following my live stream and I'll let you know Sorry. How you doing? My name is Clark. Nice to meet you, Francis. I'm uh, live streaming this event right now, and uh, I just have a few questions for you. If you, that's okay. You're, are you one of the organizers? Uh, I'm, I'm one of the people participating. Yeah, I wouldn't really claim as an organizer just yet, but I, I have been going to the assemblies. Okay. Sure. Um, could you give us a little, uh, our viewers here, a little background on what's going? on? Sure. What's the stream on? Uh, it's Occupy San Francisco. Oh, it's Occupy SF? Yeah, on uh, yes. Ustream.tv slash channel Occupy yeah. San Francisco. Well, it's, uh, so, so I've been on, on and off involved with Occupy, and this is actually a very similar movement uh, from Mexico. Um, I was just actually down there and during the elections, and just before and during the elections, and where a lot of mass protests just happened. People are pretty much calling out the government on, you know, neoliberalism and like all these horrible policies that are creating poverty and creating more, um, more violence with the with the drug cartels. You know, having a very like rigid policy and how to deal with them, and. Um, Basically, how this movement started it was that uh, all these uh, students were opposing the the candidate who's supposedly you know won the election right now. You know, it's being contested from the from the uh, his name is Peña Nieto, so he's from the political party PRI, which is a party that ruled for like 70 years nonstop, you know, in Mexico. And the student movement uh, is based. This student movement is basically to to challenged the return of that political party into power, uh, specifically because they have a long history, that the political party has a history of repressing students and political movements over the dec over a lot of decades, right? So that's where a lot of the empowerment comes from people who rise up right now, especially young people, because they're identifying that this is a return of a political party and a type of government that has created a lot of political repression for a lot of time, a long time. And they feel that like also the way the election went, not only was there fraud, but they bought off people for their votes, you know, which is which is really, really shameful, right? Right. And, and so what do they do it here? To stop. Right. Here, here they, they'll spend a billion dollars in the campaign. What commercials, and you get a right? bumper sticker in the, in, the, in the pen. Over there, they'll just say, right now, they decide they're just going to give you some money and buy your electoral card and go use it to put your vote in. Yeah, I just think I'd rather have the money. How about you guys? <laughs> I know, right? The, the Republicans and Democrats could stimulate the economy, giving them the, the billion dollars they're going to raise each for the campaign. <laughs> they will still get the same. <laughs> Good. Well, I'll be, um, yeah. definitely looking. Do you have a website or anything that uh, viewers can check out? So the group, so the 132 movement has uh, a website online. You can just do a Google search. I forget what it is. It's outside of Mexico. It's a Facebook page. So it's Yo Soy 132 Bay Area. So it's the 132 movement of the Bay Area, and that's where we keep in touch. You know, through Facebook, uh, plan the next meetings, plan the next you know, assemblies, and then plan also there are next events and protests. And right now we're doing a lot of solidarity with the, what's happening in Mexico today. They're protesting the major TV networks, so we decided we would do the same in protesting the TV network here that's associated with the main one down there that's responsible for a lot of the propaganda you know, that was very much favoring one political party only, right? And so that's, the, that's the, probably the most inspiring piece about this is that in Mexico the, the, this, this uh, movement has decided to challenge the government by way of the electoral system and also the media and how they're complicit with the electoral system in maintaining bureaucracy and fraud, right? Which is something we haven't seen here yet, right? But they're doing it down there right now. Do you know who owns Univision? Uh, I'm not familiar exactly, but somebody gave me the figure early that about a third of it is owned by the TV network in Mexico. Okay. A huge TV network there. Okay, because uh, I thought Fox, Fox might have an interest too, I believe. 
they have one of the stations. Uh, there's Univision, and what's the other Spanish language? Espanol. Yeah, Telemundo. Telemundo is owned by GE. NBC, I think. Yeah, it's GE. Okay. General Electric. And then uh, Fox is about to have their own network come out, Mundo Fox. Okay. So, to compete with Univision and Telemundo. Okay. Right? So they're all getting in on that Spanish speaking market. Yeah, what's well, the fast growing, huge, fastest growing market in the United States? Yes. Right. But I am hoping for Occupy that there's a revival, you know, similar to how they're doing it in Mexico. Yeah, we're really talking about electoral politics and what it actually means to us as average people in the country is it working for us or not and if it's not then let's make that very clear that it's not well if you have um if you have time uh the occupy we have an action council which is a uh it's like a spokes council and we try to get like a member from each group that's organizing with occupy or in the unions or uh answer or all uh, right uh so that is in sundays at 2 p.m at Local 2 Unite here, I'm also speaking with our local audience. Two, yeah, it's at Local I've been 2. To some before. Yeah, so yeah. we're having meetings there. So if you let us know and come to one of the meetings, you don't have to stay for the whole thing. But just send somebody yeah. by, and that way we can get the word out. Like a lot of people didn't know about this right. until I got a hold of it with the hashtag. It is a discussion right now within this group come on, we gotta get to on. figure out whether or not. To figure out whether. Oh, here comes, here comes the. <laughs> It's a uh, critical mass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, critical uh, mass tonight. We, it's a discussion in this group to, dis to figure out whether or not we work together with Occupy or not. Because that's something we're working on right now. Yeah, we got all the critical masses out here. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see critical mass out here tonight. All right, we're definitely not censored. Right. So you're getting two protests for the price of one. Uh, hopefully in the next couple of months I'll be able to go out on the critical mass. I'm trying to build myself up. Get the old sea leg, bicycle legs back again. Size critical. I remember when I used to go on these every week. They're a lot of fun. idea. In San Francisco, riding a bicycle uh, is the only way to go. Uh, you don't want to have to take a car. Uh, Muni is not too awful, but you can't be in a hurry. So that looks like pretty much it. So getting back on uh, the Facebook page was uh, Ashmark Yo Soy 132, um, and then just check that out on Facebook for Bay Area, and uh, you'll be able to stay in contact with Yo Soy 132 here locally in San Francisco. Back to the protest. Thanks a lot for speaking. What was your name again? Uh, Ramses. 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 Yeah. Last name? Spanish. Ramses. Teon. T e o n Nichols. Okay. Teon Nichols. Great. And I'm from here, from SF. So. I'll see you guys around. Okay, I hope to see you soon. Actual councils at 2 p.m. on Saturday. Sunday. Sundays. Okay, let's get through it. Is it still up on the website, like the schedule? Uh, not as much. Okay. But uh, so that's where it's happening. It's on Sundays. It's happening for okay. sure. Okay. Your name again? Clark Sullivan. Clark Sullivan. Okay, I've seen your name around. Right on. Okay. Meet your brother. All right. Take care. Thanks. Yeah, I'm, I don't usually like to uh, pat myself on the back, but I've been an activist in San Francisco for 41 years. Of, Successful activism, I might add. Very, 
very few times, uh, very few things was I ever involved with that wasn't a success. And uh, but that's neither here nor there because you can't live on your past achievements, and you're only as good as your last action that you organized. So remember that, uh, all you would-be organizers out there. But uh, experience does count for something. And uh, speaking of experience, uh, I turned 52 today. Woohoo! That's uh, now I'm a Mayan elder uh, because Mayans uh, they respected all the elders that over 52 or 52. And if you're really into the Mayan calendar, uh, my kin is a White Galactic Wizard. So uh, that's uh, 260 on the count on the on the, on the kin count. move around here a little bit in a minute give you a little better view of what's going on maybe I'll just smoke my cigarette first I don't want to choke anybody out I gotta there we go. And that's a hashtag that you follow. If you want to know what's going on here in San Francisco. Alright, second here. I'm gonna put this poster in my bag so it doesn't get destroyed. I'm hang it up on my wall. I got a pretty good sized collection of protest posters. Uh, just from Occupy. So hold on a second. There we go. Sorry. Sorry for the jiggly camera. Yeah, that was Steve Rhodes going by. Uh, you can find him on Flickr. Steve, and then Rhodes, R-H-O-D-E-S. How's it going? Got a nice crowd here, about 75 people. Glad you're here watching the live stream. And this is uh, mainly Latino protest. Uh, but uh, you don't have to be Latino to understand the language of protest here. No, you don't have to have Espanol. I'll get in a little closer in just a second. What brand are you smoking? Are you smoking a cigarette? Huh? No, I don't want one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a good reason to quit right now. All right, all the other good reasons to quit. What's that? You know who Carlos Slim is? Yeah. And guess what board of governors he's on? What big corporation? Oh, R.J. Uh, Philip Morris. Oh, Philip Morris. Okay. Yep. Yep. You're putting money in his pocket. Oh, I know. They got me hooked. One hundred percent cacao. Put it down. Don't pick up another one when you get the craving. Break off a piece of chocolate, stick it in your mouth, and suck on it. And it'll kill the craving. Four days like that. Don't go out. Don't talk to anybody. Go through the crazies. And every time you get a craze, a craving, do the chocolate. It works. That's how I quit. Fifteen years I smoked a pack, pack and a half a day. Well, it's about the same as I smoke. Yeah. So I'll take that advice because um, I'm going to be moving into a new place pretty soon. And uh, there's no smoking. So, definitely gonna quit. But right now I'm gonna I've live it up. It's so much better since I did. It's been two years and four months. Well, I did a similar thing with alcohol. Uh, I had a problem with uh, binge drinking, and uh, to the point where I had to check myself in a detox for a while. But now I'm not drinking. So there you go. But we're still smoking medical marijuana like it's going out of style. <laughs> no, we won't give up the medical marijuana, folks. 
down here. Oh, there's the hashtag I was looking for. That's the one. That's the one for today. Right here. If you, uh, if you get on Twitter and you uh, do a search for that hashtag, uh, you'll find out pretty much what you need to know about this movement. Broadland. Right. But that could be the United States too, what do you guys think? Anyway, uh, if you're on and you're watching the broadcast, uh, why don't I do the social stream and uh, check it out? I'm glad you're watching this instead of the, uh, the phony ass Olympics, right? Which are bought with corporate, bought and paid for with corporate money, and they're really no longer uh, the Olympics anymore. They're more like McDonald's. Uh, anyway, we got a got a Univision truck out here. Kind of interesting to see what's going on with that. Let's go back to the speakers. The nice thing about this protest is there's no cops down here. Or maybe maybe I should keep that silent. Seems like all the Occupy protesters 
always heavily attended by the police department. But at least Univision's not freaking out and calling the cops on us, so... I guess that would be a plus. I'm going to finish my cancer stick. Oh, well, i got to quit smoking. Start carrying joints around. Oh, that's a okay. I'm just standing up here and give some look at besides my everybody's back. I am a pretty big guy. I'll stand up for a little bit. Gotta keep some of the light out of the shot for you guys because I know it blacks people's faces out. Yeah, sorry folks. I'm still not 100%, but I'm getting there. Try standing up again. Tempranito para que no llegáramos 
¿Qué hicieron ellos? Llegaron más tempranito. Dicen que para chingón. ¡Chingón y medio! Y entonces, compas, muchas gracias. Y de nuevo, la primavera, primavera mexicana la vamos a traer aquí en las calles de San Francisco y Los Ángeles, en Houston y San Antonio. Right. I might be able to sit down here and do this. Pressure needs to be put on mainstream media to uh, cover the uh, presidential elections more fairly. That's pretty much what I got out of it. And uh, I'm only good for about one in every three words. So, el español. But, uh, Ayuden a, a limpiar la calle para que vean que es una, una revolución pacífica y civilizada. Estamos dando un ejemplo aquí. Y ya saben, estamos aquí en la lucha. Nos vamos a despedir con un... ¡Zapata vive! ¡La lucha sigue! ¡Zapata vive! ¡La lucha sigue! ¡Zapata vive, vive! ¡La lucha sigue, sigue! ¡La lucha sigue, sigue! ¡La lucha sigue, ¡La lucha sigue, sigue! ¡México sin fri! 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 Eso es todo, compañeros. Muchas gracias. Ready second, everybody, for showing up. Ahora, 
Vamos a una cosita más. Eh, la, 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 los medios locales, si son insinuables, el compañero Edwin, eh, quiere tomar una foto del rumbo. Este, Peínense, por favor. Apretaditos, apretaditos. Ahí está, compañero, 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 por favor. So if I get, I'm going to try to get a, a picture of everybody, just a second. That is what I'm clicking up. Just a second. I'm hobbling. Oh, sure. Anyway, here we go. There's everybody that showed up today. What a good crowd. So no police here today, that was a good thing. No popo. No popo is good popo. Uh, put on in me. Por favor. Back to the old picture device. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap it up here in a couple of minutes. Uh, you got anything else you'd like to say or get any questions for anybody here? Uh, now's the time. We were down here, uh, this is a 50 Fremont at uh, Yo Soy, uh, Yo Soy Dos Tres Dos, or uh, Uno Tres Dos, my Spanish is coming back. It's uh, Doscientos Tretenta y Dos. So we're down here at uh, Cincuenta Fremont, and uh, we're going to wrap it up here. Anything else you want to say, get on in the live stream. Uh, my next uh, gig, I'm taking a few days off. I, if something happens to, uh, excuse me, if something happens to come up in the next couple of days that's really pressing, I'll check it out. Um, if you want to catch up with me, I'll be at the Action Council meeting on Sunday, 2 p.m. Local 2, Unite Here, and that's near the corner of Leavenworth and Golden Gate, and that's Occupy Action Council, formerly Occupy. San Francisco Action Council. We dropped the San Francisco out of it because we're working with outside of the Bay, uh, outside of the city, more outside of the city groups. And uh, I personally will be live streaming next Wednesday, starting from the Vapor Room, which is on Haight and Steiner, Haight Street and Steiner. Uh, there's going to be a march down to City Hall to protest uh, federal uh, closures of medical marijuana dispensaries here in California and around the country. So uh, that'll be on my, uh, I think I'll just keep everything on my Occupy San Francisco channel for the time being. I do have another one called Cannabis is Medicine, uh, but uh, I'm going to stick with the Occupy San Francisco, not to, so you guys don't get confused out there. Uh, follow me on Twitter, at Freeman Sullivan, F-R-E-M-A-N-S-U-L-L-I-B-A-N, uh, if you want to stay up to date. I'm also uh, Clark Sullivan on Facebook. Uh, unfortunately, I uh, reached, reached my friend's limit. But I do have another page that I'm working on on Facebook, which is 99% uh, stream. And I also have a website that I should have operational this by the end of this weekend. That is activiststream.com, A-C-T-I-V-I-S-T-S-T-R-E-A-M.com. And uh, anybody else has got any announcements? Uh, Put it on chat right now, and I'll uh, I'll get it out there to the to the other viewers. If not, uh, 
much love and much respect. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Peace out.